Good morning, welcome to another devotional time in God's Word. We're in Psalm 23, and today we're going to read the first part of verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And as we've seen, as we've walked through verse by verse, this beautiful psalm, we've seen it refers to the ancient context of a, a shepherd with his flock. And it's interesting that shepherds often referred to some of the pastures in the higher mountains that they would take their flocks to during the summer months as tables, tablelands. It could be that David was referring to that. Remember, he was a shepherd, an experienced shepherd. It could be that he was referring to the tables, the pastures in the high mountains. But I think there's something a little bit more going on here. And it's more apparent in the Hebrew text. But just for us to have an idea, let's turn to Psalm 78 and let's read verse 19 and 20 together. Psalm 78, 19 and 20. Yes, they spoke against God. They said, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Behold, he struck the rock. And, and so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide meat for his people? So regardless of whether David was referring to these pastures up in the high mountains, one thing we can be certain of, according to Psalm 78, setting a table would be talking about provision. It's a similar principle, isn't it, as pasture. It's about the provision for the sheep and we see that in the in psalm 78 he was talking about the people of israel who questioned whether god could provide for them in the wilderness but here david says you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and there's something about setting a table within that ancient middle eastern culture you know it kind of speaks about our culture today as well, doesn't it? When we receive guests, we receive friends to share a meal together. It talks about friendship, it talks about fellowship. Well, it was the same in those days. When somebody received someone else as a guest, you know, it was a sign of friendship, a gesture of friendship and fellowship. And obviously you wanted to put your very best on for them. And, you know, if we think about the principle here, God is saying that he will provide for us. He, he puts on a spread, if you like, of everything that we need because we have become friends of God through faith in Jesus Christ. That he prepares before us all that we need in the presence of our enemies. And the Hebrew word, therefore, in the presence of, can be actually literally rendered as opposite our enemies. So the idea is that the enemies are looking on us as, as we kind of feast upon everything that God has prepared for us. And we know that, that just as there were the enemies of the flock who would seek to hunt and to kill, we know, as we've already said, we have an enemy. We have an enemy that seeks to de destroy our souls, that seeks to pull us down. But God actually establishes his friendship and fellowship with us, with our enemy looking on, helpless. And so I believe that this is what David is trying to communicate. That even as we're surrounded by those who would seek our demise, those who are used of the evil one to, to try and destroy us, even with that, we can relax and we can enjoy fellowship and peace and friendship with God Almighty. That's an awesome thought, friends. And again, if you're going through some, some difficult time, if you're going through some persecution from people, try to look beyond the person. The Bible says we need to love our enemies. Look beyond the person and look to the, the spirit that is motivating that person pray for that person but don't let that affect your fellowship and your friendship with God he prepares a table for us in the presence of our enemies 
May God bless you. Have a wonderful day.